Hey, good morning, my friends. Welcome back. Today, we're dealing with some survival of the zombies. Nightmare speed, 300% block damage again. God, this is going to be bad tonight. And uh, the X Factor today, POI infestation with headshots only. I am not really concerned about what's going to be happening with X Factors and such today, because today we have a lot of base work to do. So I've got, I think, all of the materials I'm going to need for that. Just get a few of these things patched up. Hey, little guy, what are you doing there? <laughs> we just have a pet rabbit that lives on uh, this looks like a saw blade to me like a, like a bandsaw blade Anyway, let's get up here because uh, we had some significant problems last night now admittedly I I knew that demos were coming soon, but um, I Was definitely taken by surprise a little bit last night I'm just getting this stuff upgraded to concrete and uh, it'll have to go to steel at some point today if not tomorrow we also need steel for the gyrocopter and there's like a whole list of things i have to do today so let's um let's just um start whittling down the list a little bit oh yeah while i'm right here let's go ahead and uh get these new blade traps hooked up oh you know what we've got headshots only today let's not do the blade traps then um Man, yeah, because it's just not going to do a whole lot of damage to him. I'm just having a look down here in the pit and getting a couple of these shapes replaced. Looks like we lost only a couple things. Everything else looks to be in ship shape down here. Okay, on to the more important task, and that is to... We got to, like, reinvent what we're doing at the fighting position here. We had a couple of problems last night. One, of course, the demo problem. So we have to get things strong and fortified. Two, we had cops that were spitting through the bulletproof glass through the baluster rail and also through these cir circular shapes here. I don't think there's anything we can do about that, but they were definitely doing some significant damage back here to the crafting station wall. And uh, I don't know if anything in here took damage. I think we probably saved most of our gear, but um, when we get radiated cops and such, especially on nights like tonight, 300% damage, our crafting stations and stuff are at huge risk. So I think what we need to do here is come up with a new shape solution here for the front wall. Okay, now we gotta get things fortified as much as possible here. We'll get this up to steel, hopefully by the end of the night tonight. We're just gonna replicate the same system we had there on the bottom, but we need something entirely different here on the front. I'm thinking that we shouldn't have windows here on the front at all anymore, and I'm wondering if we could just, um, yeah, what if we, wait, let's just do this out of some like regular shape so that I can get some sort of a system in place. I think that'll do probably because we just want to take the windows out because the cops can apparently spit through them. Alternatively, what we could do is, um, okay, how would that work? Um, if we took this off, the old scaffolding ladder, because cops do have difficulty spitting through that, but we can't put the scaffolding ladder on the outside. We could only put it on the inside because zombies will stick to it if it's on the outside. And then we could put the window on the outside. No, because the window is really not helping us. We want, we only want things that can help us here. Yeah, I think we just need to get rid of the whole window system altogether. So that's going to look like uh, basically that, which gives us a little bit of a cubby to fight in. It definitely narrows things down a lot, so we have a lot less visibility, but that works both ways. Okay, I'm committing to this. Let's uh, solidify this all the way down the line. Okay, on the other side of things, yeah, we took some significant damage out here, and we do definitely need to put something on this side here, something that flushes it up with the circular plates that we have that gives an additional layer of protection on the outside to absorb some blast damage. I'm not exactly sure how effective these like curved plate things that we were using are, but I'm content to kind of continue with this for a little while longer until we figure that out. Okay, so that's, oh geez, we got the, the whole roof here. Plus most of this roof I think is wood. So that's not good. It doesn't matter though, the, the roof is not serving any purpose at all in this scenario here. So, you know, maybe someday we'll head up in the attic there and get things upgraded, but it's just not high on the priority list right now. I do need to get this little like um, ramp thing fixed up though. Give me a second. Okay, and then the last thing to get this all finished up is to just get these little skinny poles and run them down the line. And yeah, I think most of all, that will need to be steel and, and probably th the whole pole there. Um, we'll see where we're at for steel toward the end of the day, 
I'm working on it as fast as I can. In fact, let's go check on the forge and make sure that that's still pumping. Yeah, in fact, we're gonna need a lot more iron. I think last, uh, this morning I was smelting arrows in, kind of <laughs> out of desperation. So turn that back on. More steel, please. And where are we at for gyrocopter chassis? We're close on steel. So as soon as we can get this, we're good to go. I think we'll have the duct tape. We do need the electrical parts. Ah, that means we do have to head out. Okay, are we ready to head out? I think everything is, like, good enough here to, to fight for tonight. Uh, you know, uh, sans the uh, the steel upgrades. We'll get to that eventually. Let's, uh, yeah, just snag that last couple things up there. And uh, let's just head into town here. Where do you suppose we can get the most electrical parts? Um, well... Probably, I think the hospital would be a great place. High density, we, we don't have to go through the whole place. We just go the first couple of rooms here in the emergency department, harvest down everything, and we'll call it good from there. I'd say that's good enough for one day. I got a couple hundred electrical parts there and a little bit of extra iron as well. Let's head home. Looks like we're walking the rest of the way. I'm out of gas. There we go. Gyrocopter chassis. And in a couple minutes here, we'll have the full on gyrocopter. And also what we should do is give me that nail gun back out. Upgrade all of this stuff to concrete. That way we know for sure that if something fails and there is some cop spit that's making it back here, at least it has a concrete wall to get through before it starts damaging all of our stuff. Okay, one thing I've been wanting to do for a while now is increase our turret usage. We only have two turrets that are active right now and I think we could benefit from having quite a few more. So potentially we could have a system where we have SMG turrets surrounding the base, kind of maybe like plaster them on top of the rooftop or make like a little platform right about here for them. yeah yeah what about if we took these brackets here and we had a bracket like that yeah that that kind of that blends in to some degree there and then maybe another one um i don't know like like that or even or even we could take like a plate that's right here just put that right there We'll have to decide which one looks better and just put an SMG turret on top of that. And so basically the days where we have a lot of screamers, it's incredibly annoying. And we could just set up some SMG turrets to kind of fend them off. We wouldn't have all those turrets active on Horde Knight, but we could have um, a switch somewhere where it's, you know, just like perimeter defense and just flip the switch. Whoops, <laughs> my poster, put that back up. That's my favorite poster of all right there. Yeah, flip a switch and then turn on perimeter defense. And that also had me thinking that, um, what if we also had an electric perimeter fence all the way around the compound? Because what I do want to do eventually is knock out this eyesore of a wall here and just clean this entire area up here. We could replace it with just a simple electric fence. And that way, if there's a wandering horde or after horde night, when we jump down here to kind of clean up the rest of the zombies, we'll have a perimeter defense that we can kind of kite the zombies into just to help us out a little bit for, you know, just an added layer, a minimalist layer of defense out here. That's gonna require a lot of resources though. Ooh, ooh look at that. Yeah, the workbench did get hit a little bit last night. Anything else here that needs to be fixed? Yeah, that door there is a little bit damaged. Let's just get that up to iron. And I also made up some iron shutters because I thought they'd look a lot better out here. So get those fixed up. There we go. Oh no, 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 no. It's gonna bother me that this is like not even... Crap. We should knock out this bottom layer here someday <laughs> and replace it with... Um, it's like the, the level three ramp shape because yeah, that little bit of asymmetry there is is not good we got bigger fish to fry right now how's that gyrocopter looking pretty good get it uh, crafted three and a half minutes there for the full thing you know we found that whole pile of steel shapes and um for the light did we use all of those because i don't think that we did we had a hundred steel shapes 
And um, I don't know where I put them, honestly. I must have dropped them off somewhere because I've looked in every container here. And unless I've just glossed over them, I don't... I have no idea what happened to those. I really wish that I could figure it out though because all of the work that we did to replace like the fighting position blocks and stuff would have been far better to just do that out of steel to begin with. Oh, you know what I just saw though is the forgetting elixir. And that also reminds me I've been sitting on all these skill points. I have eight to spend currently, but we also have a bunch of points that I want to get back. So let's consume this forgetting elixir and kind of rearrange our specifications. Okay, so what I've done for points is we maxed out perception the way we had it before. We've done strength the way we had it before, basically just minor 69er, mother load, shotgun, heavy armor. I put some points into fortitude so that we have healing factor, iron gut, pain tolerance, and machine gunner. Some points in agility so we have parkour, run and gun, and gunslinger, and a few points into intellect. Basically, I took some points out of lock picking and, uh, and rearranged them, and, and I think... I think we're actually like a net positive in terms of our points because we had the, the, the eight or 10 or whatever to spend from the, the beginning of the morning. But what I should do, yeah, okay. So now I have an extra point into advanced engineering. So we have a, a, a discount to crafting steel so we can get a lot more bang for our buck there. And that is pretty much it for the iron. And we have just a little bit of steel here. Let's just focus on getting the most important stuff upgraded. And then we'll probably have to go... Oh, there's a chicken stuck down in there. And <laughs> I guess he lives down there now. I could kill him, but I'm kind of curious to see how long he'll survive down there. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay, so we have like one, two, three. Yeah, we need like 30 or 40 more steel. Plus, we'll have to have some for repairs. And then if we get any more by the end of the day, it's gonna go basically into these plates here on the front wall. But in order to get the, what is with the chick? We have like a freaking homestead around here. Look at all these animals. What the heck, man? Uh, yeah, we definitely need to go get some iron. So uh, which one's the iron mine? I think we're doing iron over here somewhere. Yes, okay, we've got a fresh iron node and there's a whole bunch more down there. You know, there's actually a huge benefit to taking those points into fortitude because we got the iron gut and that is going to increase all of our consumables, all of our buffs, anything from vitamins to skull crushers. It's all going to last longer now. And the extra points into healing factor and the physician perk will increase our ability to heal and limit our first aid usage, which is becoming a bit of a bottleneck. All right, just taking care of a little bit of a mess up here with a screamer. Let's, what do you say we get some nitrate while we're out here? I need some nitrate so I can make some farm plots. And I think, okay, that's lead up there. Nitrate is, nitrate's just down the road here. Nitrate as well as a little bit of iron. Two for the price of one. Oh, look at this. This is a rich mine here. All right, two and a half minutes to go. Let's get as much as we can. There it is. And you know... I'm not sure, do we need a gyrocopter landing pad, like, um, you know, something that's attached to the base? Because I've been thinking about making, like, um, like an all-inclusive base, you know, that has the garden in it, that has a gyrocopter landing pad on it. But the only way I can really see to do that is to tear off the roof, and that's just a monumental project. And with so much other stuff to worry about, I'm not sure that that's just the most effective use of our time, because we have a nice landing strip here other than the uh the crater that the zombies made there last night i'm not sure how or why that happened but just trying to refuel this so that we're good to take off when we need to i think actually uh no we'll need to have the motorcycle here i'll just park it over here on the side employee of the month parking right here one more little project here let's scoop up these farm plots they've been looking terrible over here for who knows how many days and instead of having the farm plots over there, I'm gonna dig them in right over here. There's a nice little, like, almost purpose-made garden plot right here. And the reason why we went for nitrate is because uh, that's what I'm short on to make any more. And I think uh, there's another spot over here. If we just ripped off this shed here and carved out those blocks there, there would be another, like, um, like a little sister plot right over here. Oh, and while we're at it, let's just... Can we get rid of this trailer? <laughs> this trailer... I don't even know how this thing is still standing. This is some very sturdy sheet metal here. There we go. That... Oh, man. And it's an even worse mess now. I probably should have just taken it apart piece by piece, right? There we go. And one of my goals here for the very near future, I think I mentioned it earlier, is to just go around and get all of this stuff cleaned up all of these whoop, 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 whoop. look out look out oh crap 
<laughs> no! Is she like, not gonna scream? Whoa. What happened to her? We need 10 more farm plots, and I don't think we could really even make a much bigger farm if we wanted to, because we're so short on rotten flesh. It's just not something I've particularly focused on, having not put any points into fortitude until just this morning. And I'm making up a couple of extra fish tacos here. I've been living off of fish tacos for like at least the past 10 days. I'm gonna get mercury poisoning here. I was looking around here. There's another shotgun, the M590 CTS. <laughs> These names, man. Every time these names get me. But um, there's also this shotgun ammo tray. This takes uh, one shotgun shell and um, some other seemingly, you know, simple resources there. We also have the shotgun ammo wall shelf, which is looks pretty cool. That could be a nice decoration for the base. Also easy to craft, but takes a while. We have a shotgun poster. I think I'm all set on that. I got plenty of candy posters that I prefer shotgun cabinet as well oh we need one shotgun weekly magazine for that and a shotgun rack also takes a magazine oh cool i didn't see those before do we have like um let's just type in like rack okay it's i think it's just the shotgun stuff i, I was hoping there would be some like rifle stuff as well no i'll keep an eye out in, in the crafting stuff and see if i can find any more of those but for now i think that'll be that'll be cool we'll have some more decor in here. Okay, last couple of steel upgrades here. Most critical blocks only. I think that's pretty much it. So we have steel on the front, steel on the pipe, and steel on the connection there. And uh, those doors down there, I'm pretty sure those doors are good. Also, we need to um, fight on one side. I think I mentioned this a long time ago. It's going to be safer for us to fight on this side. If a demo blows up here, it'll damage the middle because then we can move over to the middle. And then if a demo blast goes off here, it'll damage this side. Hopefully it won't knock the whole thing out like it did last night. But yeah, we were fighting exclusively on the middle last night. Demo blew up, knocked out both sides. Because these, you know, we are restricted by the confines of the dimension of our building here. So these fighting positions are probably too close to each other. After all, it is what it is. You know, we're going to have to live with it. It was a decision that we made a long time ago. And now we're going to pay the price for it. Okay, that was pretty much everything that was on my list. Uh, the, the last things on my list were like perimeter turrets, perimeter electric fence, perimeter cleanup. That's kind of a whole day project in and of itself. Perhaps we could do that tomorrow. We also need to do a trader run tomorrow. And, um, oh, the last thing. Yeah, so the, the turrets. Can we do turrets right now or are we going to be short on something? We can do shotgun turrets. We could do two of them cannot do smg turrets because of handgun parts so that's that we can fix on the trader run i think we could just buy the smg turrets outright although i am surprised because i have not sold any handgun parts that i've only found two in all of 30 days of looting i guess that's what you get i did take some points into the gunslinger though so that we could potentially start using this the Psyka 9 it is a tier 3 and um, it should be doing a lot more damage now that we've kind of specced into it. So we'll have a couple of good tier 6 rifles there. This is 5.56. This is 9 mil. This using shotgun. And um, our sniper rifle here using 7.62. So we can vary up the ammo usage however much we want. Just be careful because the, <laughs> there could be a demo coming up those stairs at any second. It kind of took me by surprise last time, although it was the spear. The spear set the demo off last time. Okay, one last little batch of steel to roll in there and let's just head outside with the um, hour or two that's remaining and track down this crawler that I've been hearing for the last half an hour and get to work kind of just starting the project out here. Starting to get all of this stuff cleaned up out here. Starting with you, buddy. I just got some emergency crops planted there before the whole thing kicks off. Are we good on power? We have power. It's a little dark out here. Yeah, we need to work on some, like, front lighting, I think. All right, and that'll just about do it, my friends. Let's lock and load, because the horde is almost upon us. 
All right, here we go. This is going to be the ultimate test tonight. We'll see if we get demos here in the first wave, but certainly at some point tonight, we are bound to get them. I'm seeing a bunch of rads already, and it is headshots only tonight. Okay, so far, things are going pretty well. I turned the turrets on because we were having some, some, bird, some bird noises up above and want to take care of them, but also that turns on the... Um, the turret is downstairs, so I unlock the ammo on that. But now we have electric fences downstairs. Not that I think that's doing very much, but it's nice to see at least. Yeah, it's getting to be a little <laughs> like <laughs> we have to calculate what traps are effective against what zombies every single night. Like, can we do turrets tonight? Yes or no. Can we do blade traps tonight? Yes or no. How about electric fences? Yeah, very dark out front. Can't really see what's going on there. I feel like we had better lighting. Didn't we have some lanterns out there at some point? At any rate, when we do the whole perimeter project, probably tomorrow, I'll see if I can get some spotlights crafted and we'll set them up so that we have good 360 lighting around the base, as well as like, you know, 360 fences, 360 turret coverage, the whole shebang. Yeah, as long as the interior is holding up relatively well, if we don't suffer a whole bunch of demo explosions tonight and, and you know, cop spit shredding our crafting area, We'll be able to focus a lot of our attention and resources outside over the next couple of days. Definitely a little bit more cramped here. I'm not even going over to guns just yet. Just kind of like taking it easy, zombie by zombie, using melee as much as I can. And um, yeah, just be careful because a, a zombie could kind of turn the corner there at any second. Although it is seeming like this wave is demo free and cop free for that matter, which is actually <laughs> even better if you ask me. Cops can be so annoying sometimes. Yeah, definitely a lot less visibility. Definitely harder to see what's going on around here, but that is the price you have to pay for national security here. No oh, crap. Yep, we got a demo. He blew up down in the pit, though. Okay, we just ticked over to midnight. We definitely have gops and demos here now. Lovely. So a perfectly easy, nice wave just turned into a horrible nightmare wave. Damage assessment in the pit. It's bad. It's very bad down there, but that's what pits are for, okay? We'll just have to be ultra careful now. Watch out for demos. Also, watch out for spit right in the face. It's times like this where the single file mechanism that we have, it can kind of come back to bite you because I, it's difficult for me to see who's coming next, you know? And I've got this penetrator perk, the penetrating shaft, so I'm hitting the zombies that are, that are way at the end of the corridor. And sometimes that's a demo button down there. It's the perfect height for it. Nothing I can do about it. No sense of complaining about it. We got to deal with it. We got to find a workaround here and just be extra careful. Eventually, I think muscle memory will kind of take over and, and I'll, you, you know, you'll get an eye for it eventually. You'll start paying attention a little bit more and it shouldn't be as much of a problem. Okay, it's a bit of a problem though because I keep getting spit on through the wall. Whoop, close that door. It's all right, we're gonna hold here on this far left position until it fails, and then we'll move over to the middle and then over to the right. That's the battle plan. Yet we have lost partial power. The cops spitting inside have knocked out the spotlight that was in here, and I have a lot of daisy chain um, lights coming off of that, so <laughs> the side over here is taking a beating. And we've lost a block here. No matter, copy shape, copy rotation, and replace it. And also we've lost that front front plate there, so make sure that the back one is fixed up. Jeez, and we're about to lose the spear. Fix that. Let's see, what side is the, okay, the demo button side, cop blew up down there somewhere. Cop, uh, the demo button is on the top right chest. So if I'm aiming this way, that's more toward the demo button, right? But if I kind of stand over this way a little bit, I don't get to utilize the penetrating shaft quite as much, but I think it makes me a little bit safer in terms of inadvertently hitting the button. And getting spit on, for that matter. However, that block there becomes the, uh, the, the, the cushion for me, right? Yeah, see, cops about to spit. Just hide. Okay, so we're, we're not suffering nearly as much as we were before due to the cop spit, where it was just kind of flying through here all willy-nilly last night. Okay, quick second here for repairs. The fact that there's no zombie here right now is ultra concerning. Oh, they all got stuck in the pit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're all down there. They're, they're able to get out. They're just having some significant difficulty. Okay, I think the best thing to do right now is to take them off of this side. We just lost that front plate anyway. Let's clean up the mess a little bit and we'll bring them over to the... Oh, jeez. Should we do the middle? No, because the middle... 
Yeah, no, I think the middle is probably preferable. Let's spin him up on the middle here. We'll try to keep the far right side in pristine condition for as long as possible. In an interesting development, it does appear as though when there's no... When there's no pathway open, the zombies just cluster up. Remember when the dogs did that before? That's what the zombies are doing now. That is weird. Yeah, have a look at this. I can look right down there and I can see him. Whoa, okay. Good thing we put those vents there. Uh, uh, the, the security grate, security gate, uh, grate. But yeah, <laughs> wow, <laughs> get that replaced immediately. Um, also, I think there's supposed to be a ramp shape here that probably got knocked out at some point. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty happy with how things are going so far. We're more than halfway through the night. We knew that there was going to be destruction. So far, it has not been catastrophic. Except there's cops blowing up in the pit now. Yeah, that the pit, the pit is in bad shape, man. And the pit, I think, was solid concrete too. So unless we're buffing that up to steel, which we're not, we're gonna have a hard time maintaining the integrity of that thing. Oh man, it's, it's very ominous. When the zombies start knocking out power, knocking out the lights, the pit's in bad shape. Oh man, I can't even keep tabs on all the, the damage that's been done here tonight. Although nothing catastrophic just yet. Hang in there, hold your ground. Yeah, something tells me this is not the one that we want right here tonight. This gun seems very dangerous. It's, it's fun to use though. Kind of the same thing with this one. Yeah. On a night where we didn't have 300% damage, I might be a little bit less reluctant, but currently a single demo blast could change everything. There we go. I think I got a demo there. Maybe I got two of them. Yeah, maybe we just, we made the pit a little bit deeper. It's all part of the master plan. We needed a slightly deeper pit and <laughs> we now have a significantly deeper pit. All right, well, at 3 a.m. here, I am transferring them over to the far right side. All of these sides still work. It's just a matter of the pit still working or not. It's okay. It's really not as bad as it looks down there. I think, like I said a couple of days ago, we'll fill that in with concrete now and it'll be even harder for them to do the same thing again tomorrow night and every night going forward. And if they do, you know, the deeper they make the pit, the more concrete I'll fill it with. All right, there we go. It's morning. The rest of the night went by without much of a hitch. There are still demos here in this final wave, but so far I have not set any of them off. So all told tonight, two demo blasts and I think two or three cop blasts as well. Most of it, if not all of it, happened down in the pit. There we go. That might've been the last demo right there. It's pretty bad, <laughs> but it could certainly be worse. Oh my God, we're going to have to do the whole fence thing over again. But hey, I think the buffer thing kind of worked. Oh, we lost the jail doors over there as well. Not surprising, really. And a couple of electric fences as well. All right, power down traps. Lights are good. Fighting positions are good. Everything upstairs seems okay. We just need to do a few repairs and a little bit of patchwork. And I think we will have it. Okay, time to scoop up some of these loot bags. I don't feel like we have very many of them. It's good to see a couple of orange ones and several blue ones though. Yep, and that is it for the pit. So we just need to fill this in with concrete and um, I'll probably just leave all of the rubble and stuff. And I don't know that, yeah, actually these ladder pieces, ultimately they were only concrete. So I think things will go better and better as we identify what the most important blocks were for structural integrity and start getting those upgraded to steel where they were concrete before. Okay, we're working on a whole bunch of concrete and I've got cement rolling as well. So really, we're not gonna have any shortage of that anytime soon. So we'll have plenty of concrete blocks to just throw in here kind of willy-nilly, get this all filled in and patched up. We're, we're not actually making the pit any deeper because that would require even more demo work. We'll just fill it in and the next time this happens, instead of these blocks having 500 hit points like stone does, they will have 5,000 hit points like concrete does. All right, that's all I have for shapes for now. Let's go craft some more. All right, I don't know about you, but uh, I'm feeling like these days with the hordes being as vicious as they are, I'm feeling like we don't get very much done. So why don't we just uh, continue working right straight through the morning here and uh, finish off this project of getting all the demo work done around the base. And then probably what we'll do after that is take the gyrocopter. Now that we have the gyrocopter, it's a much faster mode of transportation too. We can just head to basically all of the traders and do a quick little trader run, do a quick sell off, see if we can get some SMG turrets 
carrots, some seeds, because now that we have the garden, we can start growing our own vegetables. And, you know, the multitude of other things that we're shopping for. Uh, the solar cells, we could still use a couple of those, and then maybe even eventually get a, um, a solar bank and start getting our power from the sun itself. Well, <laughs> that attracted some attention. And with that, I'd say this place is 99% cleaned up, man. It looks pretty naked around here. We can't get rid of the radio tower, though. It just looks too nice. And also, I need to get my morning broadcasts. Yeah, so what I was kind of thinking of is that... Um, let's just get, like, a marker pole here. Electric fence post there. And let's see, you can go a total of 15 for the electric fences. So that would be about this far here. Oh my goodness, a wandering horde. Let's go get them. Oh, there's a lot of them, man. They are still popping in too, and they are running fast. Let's do this. Where was I? Right, okay, we were counting to 15 over here. Another fence over here. Yeah, think of how much easier that would have been. Oh, there's still a whole bunch over there. Yeah, it would have been a lot easier if there was an electric fence that was strung up and powered for me to kind of kite them into it, right? Get them stun locked, kind of spread them out a little bit more because when, when they're on nightmare speed like this, they run really fast. Got her, of course, she drops a loot bag too, so I have to walk over here anyway. <laughs> Okay, I just spent the time and counted it all out, and I've spaced these all out uh, either 12 or 13 blocks apart. So that's going to be, I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 10, plus 4 is 14 electric fences, and plus there's kind of some nuance into how you have to, to link them up. Um, right, because if we want a closed system like one of these, like maybe this one right here, there's just going to have to be two that kind of overlap like so, unless we had like a safe entrance like because it would go from this one to that one and daisy chain it all the way around and then uh, there'd just be like would be like an open entrance right here yeah i'm gonna leave it like this for now we'll see if we can get the the resources and the time together mostly and get that set up oh got another dose of the the, the daily septiurnal virus <laughs> we should um the, i've i've heard on the radio people have been uh, saying that vitamins we should be taking vitamins although the thing with vitamins is that it says 12 minutes here but let's just take one even with my um iron gut that's uh, only lasting 11 minutes, so there's a bit of a... Um, it doesn't last as long as it says, because with Iron Gut, this should be lasting like um, 18 or 19 minutes, but uh, for some reason, vitamins only last for 6 minutes, along with everything else. I'm pretty sure steroids only last for 6 minutes, all of the candies last for 6 minutes, and um, I think most of the drinks do as well. Yeah, that like stamina region, I think that's 6 minutes? I think coffee is shorter. Yeah, coffee is actually three minutes. So it's not as good as advertised anyway. I, the shelf life on vitamins, you know, they degrade over time. It's far past its expiration date. More steel, more cement, more concrete mix. Grab up all of my sellables and probably not all of my money, but a good portion of it anyway. And with that, let's hit the air and head over to the traders for a little bit of a trader run. Oh. So that didn't last very long. I forgot the gyrocopter has absolutely atrocious handling. Give me a second here. I guess we're going to the north first. I tried to go south, but we'll go pay a visit to Trader Hugh for once. All right, what an easy trip over here, man. That's how it should always be. Remember the days when we were on the lawnmower? Pathetic. Not only that, but we could only use the lawnmower for like one day, and then we were out of gas for it. We had to walk around for like the whole rest of the week. So sad. Those days are long behind us, though. All right, let's check the vending machine. There we go. We can top off on some candy. Well, after we do a bit of a sell-off here, I'd say. We will do sugar butt. Awesome sauce. And I'm going to throw on nerdy glasses. What does that do for me? Does that allow me to take any points into Daring Adventurer? It does. What about Better Barter? Also can do that. So that helps with the, the sell-off there. And the remaining two points... I don't know, man. I'll just hang on to them, I guess. I like to spend them all in chunks these days. All right, time to make a little bit of money here. Not that we need it, but I've got to get rid of this stuff out of the inventory anyway, so. Okay, there we go. That's it. And I up and sold my Magnum. 
<laughs> to, to, uh, where was it? The one that I sold to him. Yeah, I should have been holding it, but I ended up just giving it to him. I, I surrender. Whatever. I'm not concerned about it here. We need to get some resources here. Cement, super cheap. Shotgun turret uh, saves us some resources. I'll take it. Electric fence posts, th same thing. And the oops, SMG turret there. Spotlight. Hey, battery bank. Yeah, we could just take that as well. We need to probably hook up another generator soon anyway. 36 forged steel. Sure, that's three blocks we can upgrade. Night Stalker book, never encumbered at night. I've never encumbered anyway, but I'll take it. Couple of shotgun weekly books. We can use those to craft up those uh, those couple of shotgun uh, ornaments, those decorations that we saw earlier. Oh, check this out. Scar Light, tier four. That is an... Oh, that's... I can't tell if that's better than the one we've been using, the assault rifle. It's not a tier six though. It, well, it's a tier four, it's not a quality six. So I'm gonna refrain from purchasing that. It's really expensive anyway. Robotics parts, we'll probably need those for more auto repair blocks in the future. All right, and that'll just about do it. We have three more trips to make though. We gotta see, we'll see, um, we'll see Joel next, then Jen, then Bob, and then we'll head home and see where we're at for time for the rest of the day. I'm just gonna drop that right on top of her head for doing that. Okay, crisis averted. Screamers dealt with. I think... I think the fact that the auto claim repair block is going means that, um... Screamers can basically spawn in all the time, even when we're away. Which is kind of annoying, but also... You know... Expected, I guess. All right, I have got a ton of organization and unpacking to do, so let me just catch up with you in a couple of hours. Okay, let's kick things off with the SMG turret platforms. Are we settled on that being a pretty good spot for them, or should we do something maybe a little bit closer to the ground, maybe? I just kind of want it also to be symmetrical, but also be accessible from some of the platforms that we already have. How about, I guess it would be that one right there. Is that going to look okay if that was an SMG turret? I think that's not bad. It'll at least give us partial coverage around the perimeter of the base. Yeah, I think I'm settled on that. Uh, I only have one turret at the moment, so I will wait until we get all four to set those up. But I think for now, that will be what we're going to use. I have the extra farm plot blocks, so we need to carve out the other garden space. And I also took two points, the two points that we had, into living off the land. So we can now um, find the seed magazines at a higher rate and get a better harvest as well. Yeah, I think what we're short on in terms of cooking some better food and getting away from the fish tacos <laughs> is uh, more corn and specifically more potatoes. See, we have all this food but we can't really cook any of it because I think most of the crafting recipes here, let's see, okay, that's gonna be cornbread. Perhaps we make some of that, but also, yeah, meat stew, hobo stew, we need, we need corn and we need potatoes real bad. Fish tacos it is, at least for the next couple of days. Still so much work to do around here. Did we lose, did we lose an electric, how did we lose that? Of all things, that's completely well protected. The only thing I can think of is it must have been some cop spit. You know, these shapes that we put on the outside here, you can see there's this little bulge because I'm using some, like, plate ramps. They are very much susceptible to projectiles kind of passing straight through them. I mean, it, it's only, like, <laughs> millimeters thick in some places, so it's not surprising that they're not entirely bulletproof. Yeah, like, who was doing that? And why? No matter. Get it reconnected, and we've got some work to do in these ones over here as well. The question will always be, is this worth it? The answer to that question is no, it's not. But is that going to change my mind? Absolutely not. Jail doors back in. Hopefully we don't continue losing those too often, because those are steel. So I guess if we lose them again, I'll probably just put a railing or something simple in there that is not going to take steel to replace and repair every single time. Okay, and just like that, the pit's in good shape again. Everything's been replaced and it's in the same condition it was before last night. And just hopefully over time we can get better at not triggering demo zombies and cops and such. And and then hopefully also the, the zombies will devolve a little bit and the block damage will get a little bit easier on us. We're gonna roll with no blade traps again tonight because simply they will just be lost with the headshot situation right now. Leaving us with... Uh, uh, two more projects. Perimeter electric fence, low priority. Uh, lights out here, slightly higher priority. Just a matter of where are we going to put them. I think we... 
we should put the lights in sort of the same configuration that we have over here so that everything kind of matches up, right? All right, illumination around the base has never looked better. We'll see what it looks like when the sun goes down tonight and hopefully we won't need any more. Although I think it'll be a constant rewiring and re-hookup job as, um, you know, we get cops and radiated vultures spitting all over the place and the whole nine yards. Okay, the question is, can we get these electric fences hooked up in time? And let's see here, there was supposed to be another one right there. So the way we would want to do this is to dig that down, create a nice strong foundation for it, put a fence in, and yeah, just get rid of that. It's slightly damaged from the, uh, the little love tap we gave it with the gyrocopter. And then inside here, I have generator hooked up to battery bank, battery bank hooked up to switch. That switch will be the perimeter defense switch, which will go to perimeter turrets and perimeter uh, electric fence. And that way, when we're in the base, we're working, we want to have like automated defense on, we'll switch it on. Then when Horde Knight kicks off, we'll switch it off. So that's going to go to that one. And then we're going to have to string it all the way around the base. And then probably, we'll, I guess we'll, maybe we'll leave it like this for tonight. And then in the very near future, we're going to have to go out here and create like a little shell, some, some sort of fortification so that the, the random angry zombies can't just run by and take one swing and knock the whole fence out of commission. There we go, all hooked up. And that's our one little safe entrance right here. Of course, we can drive through this wire. It's no big deal. I feel like it just makes sense to have uh, some sort of a little entrance here. And in terms of like, um, like a shielding type of thing for this, what would we want to do there? Probably, well, we could technically leave the top open and therefore just use bars and do, well, could do something like this followed by plates so that we only have the bars like where the wire is coming out which i think makes a little bit of sense and this would just be like kind of a wall system right here and um for the corners oh probably the the perfect shape for that is gonna be where is that the spiller pyral shape just like that and that'll give it a nice kind of rounded edge instead of that kind of harsh lip Yes, okay, that's looking pretty good. And then for the top, right, we could just leave the top open or we could do a system where we take another spiller pyrrole and we would have to do something like stick it there and then we could put a hatch on the top. But um, that's definitely lower priority. Uh, let's just leave it as is. I'm very curious to see if the zombies will even hit these like in passing or if they'll just go right around it. So. This will be our little test. I have 13 more fences, so if they do knock out a couple, we'll just, you know, jump out here tomorrow or whatever and um, fix it right up. Extra claim repair block, turn that on, and if we have any concrete mix, just start putting that in there. This can just be exclusively working on concrete stuff. Okay, I think that's just about all we can do for base construction type of things. Let's grab these uh, couple of things here, these like shotgun decorations and see what exactly they look like. I like the idea of having a little ammo shelf right there. Oh, it's a it's a storage container. No way, that is really cool. So I can start putting all of my shotgun ammunition straight in there, and I'm sure this one here must also be ammunition. Let's get rid of that potted plant. Ah, no. Nope, it's a little bit off. I don't like that. Potted plant, you can go back there. Uh, real estate. <laughs> a little bit at a premium in here still. And I was even thinking about putting another forge in because couldn't we... Um, yeah, we could put like a little bracket right here. Yep, the plate centered bracket just like so and then put another forge on top of it to help with uh, cranking out steel as fast as possible. I don't know. Put it on the ground right there for now so I can look at it for a couple of days and we'll see if we can find a spot for it eventually. Yeah, I got a sign made up. So this sign will say perimeter defense and that'll be for the turrets that we're about to put out here and everything else, the fence. And then we should be able to also get the shotgun storage cabinet here. Eight minutes, yikes, that has taken forever. And the shotgun rack as well. Yeah, just using some wood, iron nails, and the shotgun weekly magazines that we picked up a little earlier today. All right, there it is. The horde bells are ringing. Let's lock and load and get into position because the horde is almost upon us.
Here's to be more of the same old zombies in this horde. We got radiated moes. I don't see any other rads here. This is a familiar wave to me. Very similar to the last couple of horde nights. All right, easy does it. The pit's in pretty good shape down there. We'll see how, <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. Probably a matter of hours before it's completely destroyed again. I'd say the lighting situation, uh, especially around front there, looking a lot better. Maybe a little bit of room for improvement, but I'm happy with it. What I'm going to do is just flick on the perimeter defense switch just for a second to see if I can see any zombies walking through the fence there, or have they just already, like, knocked a piece out somewhere. Yeah, it's working. In fact, did you see that? We also got a deer, which is great, because if we could get some more bones, that, that, that that's going to work really well. We're going to set this up as a, a, a wildlife trap as well, to help replenish the bone stock because we're completely out. Okay, beyond your guard, it just ticked over past midnight, which means we are done with the first wave, each wave lasting approximately two hours. So we're certainly on to wave number two. It just, it's a matter of who is in the wave. Cops, demos, spiders, spikers, we will soon find out. Yeah, I see demos already. Okay, just be extra careful. Get into proper position. Don't hit the button. See that that little sliver of damage there? That's the first time I've repaired that plate. So that whole first wave did basically no damage at all. Every, lights are still on, fences, everything's working. <laughs> but now the cops are here. So that's about to change, I bet. Here, when the cops get here, just get the big guns out. Try to hit him in the head. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't... I mean, I hear a demo. Well, I've only seen him the one time, though. Seems like he's having some issues. Oh, <laughs> the cops would just hit that wall piece there. Okay, yeah, he's having some issues making the lap around. I think a lot of the zombies are. And when we start on one lane like this, they only have that one section of the pit to fall in, and then they only have that one section to, like, path out of, that one door leading to the outside, which means they're all in line on the side of the building trying to make their way back here, and then they're all going up the same set of stairs. So, basically... They're only as fast as the slowest zombie. Okay, so far so good. I've just been kind of taking it easy here. I got the 2x scope over onto this sniper rifle here. And I think just being careful here, no spray and pray, just being careful, slow, calculated, no blast, no cops, no demos have gone off so far. And we're almost through this second wave here. It looks just about as good as the day it was installed. It's looking great down there. Hopefully we can keep it that way. Oh, okay. Yep, it's like non-stop cop vomit over here. I'm gonna shut him down on that lane because I can't even keep up with repairs at this point. We gotta knock this last guy off. Don't let him blow up. And yep, string him over to here. It's 2 a.m., we have two hours to go. I think we're doing pretty well. Yep, we're done on the left pit there. It's still in great condition. We're moving them over to the right pit. I am seeing a lot of pieces falling off the base. It's just parts of the rooftop that they're not really doing anything anyway, so I'm not concerned about it. But like the spread on the cop vomit, like that, <laughs> it's doing a lot of damage to like these accessory pieces of the position. Oh my. That demo just shredded this position here. Okay, we've... We're gonna have to transfer him over to the middle. Okay, it's basically the Alamo. What I'll do while we're waiting for him is I will see if I can get this position here repaired up as much as possible. Man, that did not take them long at all. And then copy rotation and then upgrade to steel. Okay, we're good to go. Back over to this side, please. Just always want to make sure we have a, a lane for them to go to so they don't start tearing apart the base. Although, I think for the most part, when they don't have a way to get up to me, they just cluster up right underneath me. Yeah, we are not out of the woods yet, though. This next wave here to close out the night, it also contains demos and cops, so no rest. This here is kind of my latest strategy. It seems to be okay if I'm doing like two to three round bursts out of the uh, machine gun here. Whatever this is, I'm, I'm done with the, the acronyms and letter number scheme naming themes here. Whatever it is, it's working. I wish I could use that grenade launcher on the bottom. That would be pleasant. There we go. Another one. Oh, he's still alive. Good. A couple of them here. I got rid of one of them there. Still no blast. We're doing great. The night is almost over. Nope. Oh, that. Did you see that? That was close. I fortunately was able to decapitate that demo before that bomb went off. Man. We almost broke our streak. All right. 
Got one more demo here, it looks like. The bell just rang. It's officially morning. We've done it. Let's just... Let's try to get away from the guns here because now we're... We're going to be building up some heat with screamers and such. I'm going to thin them out a little bit and then we're going to test the perimeter fence and see if that's still functional and we'll kind of clean things up outside. All right, things are looking pretty good here. You can tell things are starting to... No, 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 crap. Oh, no, that doesn't count. It wasn't Horde Night. Okay, <laughs> that's my cue. Let's, um... Hit the perimeter defenses, have a fish taco, a pure mineral water, and a multivitamin. And let's get on to ground level and see if this is all still functioning. See, this is the idea. We'll kind of... We'll kind of close things out here at night. Just get over the fence and let them come. Oh, it's definitely still working. There we go. Yeah, just, just slow them down that little bit and make things that much easier on me. Trying to clean things up efficiently, quickly. I don't know. Do you see Hazmat Man and Bo? <laughs> they don't even know what they're doing. Also, Nurse over there has no idea what she's doing. Hey, that's fair enough. Oh, yeah, this is the 2x scope, by the way, on the sniper rifle. Oh, this, the silencer. Actually kind of working there. I don't really like it, though. It's it's so small and narrow and in, in the chaos of Fortnite. I just need something that's zoomed in a little bit more. So I'll probably put the 4x back on this. All right, grab that loot bag. I think we're pretty much done here. We got one more guy. There we go. Any more footsteps? Nope, I think we're good. I, yeah, I actually I hear a couple more. Let's just get um, those electric fences turned off, man. They get annoying. And perimeter defense can actually just stay on for the day, I guess. We'll kill some deer. Okay, let's get down here and see what happened. We do have a zombie. Wait, we've got this guy. Tough guy. And, um... Listen. Yeah, I think we have some more that are stuck behind the wall here somewhere. I saw, like, a hand. Are you guys back here somewhere? Oh, man, I don't really know where she is or where to start digging to get to her, so I'm not even gonna try. Oh, yeah. So the, the demo that went off here, it didn't do as much damage, really, because we had so much concrete down here, but we did lose the jail doors once again. I think what I'll end up doing is um, getting rid of those and, and putting in some, like, um concrete railings or something oh there's a deer <laughs> caught in the fence that's the other thing it's a little bit of an alarm for us we can kind of hear when there's a zombie that's stuck in the fence or a screamer gets stuck in the fence or, oh there's the the other one there's a lumberjack stuck in the wall there whatever I'm not, I'm not even worried about them they can just live wherever they've decided to hang out i'm done with it here put all my stuff away and let's go grab some loot see these uh orange loot bags they have like five items in them it seems but yeah the yellow ones have like three to four items usually i'm not noticing any significant increase in the quality of, of stuff that comes out of there although we did get 600 bucks that's not too bad we can sell that oh i heard something break who who broke something not the lumberjack. There's there's a, a female zombie that's... <laughs> I, I feel like she's in there somewhere. Whatever. All right, my friends. I think it's time for us to get some rest. I am going to probably get the concrete shapes early this morning. And I'll go fill in the pit and do the repair work down there. Yeah, I'll sort out whatever's going on with <laughs> these couple of zombies. Can I just, like, get a knee shot on them? No. No, okay, we just have a pet zombie that lives in the wall now. Anyway, my friends, thank you very much for joining me on my adventure today, and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.